Every time I do this, it just feels like I'm walking a pad or something. <laughs> I just found out that I did not give you the thorough measurement of this vehicle. Welcome to Car Seeing Korea. I introduced newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia cars. I have here 2024 Hyundai all new Santa Fe hybrid H Track. H Track is the all wheel drive for Hyundai cars. That's a long name, but this is the calligraphy trim fully loaded. I have been test driving this car for the past week and I've been putting some kilometers on it. I also tested out the terrain modes on this all wheel drive. That's what H Track is all about. And I guess I got lucky. It snowed during my test drive, so I got to test out the snow ice mud as you can see from the tires and the wheelhouses before anything i have over a dozen video on this all new santa fe where i have covered exterior interior pov drive comparison to the competitor kia sorento also size comparison to that of the palisade preface lift and also the facelift the list just goes on and on and on trust me and by the time you watch this video i probably have posted about my first impression of this car ready but put all of that aside i just found out that i did not give you the thorough measurement of this vehicle i mean you can find all the size measurements on hyundai website but most importantly the measurement of the vehicle inside a particular sizes in between the wheelhouses the trunks the entrance everything all of those things we all know we got the massive trunk for this all new santa fe what the clearance is like for the rear trunk because that might be a deal breaker for you being able to open the trunk inside your garage or not so i will tell you all about that in today's video well that being said let me show you and tell you all about my overall experience and thoughts on this all new santa fe what do you think about the light ceremony, the welcome ceremony on this car, by the way? And it's a little bit of a shame that um, Santa Fe did not come with the RSPA, which is the Remote Smart Parking Assist. I can at least fire up the car and push the car forward and backward. You know, it's not RSPA, Remote Smart Parking Assist, where the car will auto park on its own and well you probably are familiar with this parking lot if you've been watching my channel this is where i do all that rspa tests but at least i can actually push the car forward and back using the remote controller i know it's not just korea but places can get really crowded you can have very limited parking lots so even doing this pushing the car forward and back it's going to make a huge huge difference I'm gonna push the car forward and get started with the measurements. So let's go check it out. Every time I do this, it just feels like I'm walking a pad or something. <laughs> For your information, I actually do have measurement video on Santa Fe along with Sorrento, but I just did not measure this particular length and just few other miscellaneous length that's important for those who will put this car into a garage. The most scientific way measuring tape as I always do. One at the top as you can see is in inches, one at the bottom is in centimeters. So do put that in mind. And also maybe put about an inch of a buffer to the measurements I give you. Well, except for the very obvious and very straightforward measurements, which will be inside the car. The exterior measurements and all, please do keep that in mind. This is one of the toughest one to get. Just have faith in me, would you? I can't really give you a better measurement than this. And I am pointing at the tip of the trunk, 210 centimeters and that's approximately 83 inches. Santa Fe's trunk is a bit curved, but you see that's actually the highest point of the car when the trunk is open. So 210, 83 inches, just like that. And I did actually measure this, the length of the car with the trunk open. Um, horizontally. I already gave you the measurement of this in my previous video. Since it's all about the measurements in this video now, I'll give you a few more measurements just one more time. The shelter open, I am reading 195. It is straight, right? So, yep. 195 centimeters or approximately 77 inches. So I'm reading off the precise centimeters. So if you'd like to know a real precise number in inches, please convert that right here. The lowest 
entrance. So the entrance height, as you can see right here, uh, so 80 centimeters, 32 inches. Past this 80 centimeter point, this is actually carved inside right here. There's a little hump that is to secure the headroom for the third row seat. That is taller than 80 for sure because it's carved in and I'm reading 90, 90 centimeters or 35 inches approximately. This trunk compartment with the third row erect. So when you have the third row seat up, just like so, 30, eight centimeters 38 centimeters or 15 inches right here when the third row seats are now folded so you are seeing precisely where i am measuring i want to give you the largest the shortest length possible so somewhere in between the two right here between the two humps i think it's safe to measure this area i'm reading 108 centimeters approximately 42.5 inches. The test driver I have is the six seater so that it comes with the captain seats. You can completely fold the second rear seat as you can see with a push of a button, just like this. It's super convenient. Let me measure this part right here and it's reading 105 centimeters or 41 inches approximately. The second row seat's folded. The measurement might be off comparing it to that of the bench seat, which is the three passenger seats on the second row seat, which will be available for the five seater and the seven seater. Let me give it to you anyway, so you get the idea. 175 centimeters. That's the tip of the chair on the second row seat. So now this is gonna be the same for every single Santa Fe you get, doesn't matter, five, six, seven seater. The glove box right there. My measuring tape is holding up, yes. I'm reading 203 centimeters or 80 inches all the way forward. You know, once you have that measurement, you can always push your driver's seat or passenger seat back and forth to get the space you need. So that's about the measurement. And I think I gave you all the measurements you could possibly get, right? I will also give you this measurement. You're gonna get 136 centimeters, which is about 53.5 inches. Well, let me also give you this kind of a diagonal measurement too, just in case a lot of people are putting a lot of things inside. I'm measuring it from the plastic and all the way to the rubber, approximately right before the fabric, the interior fabric, 130 centimeters or 51 inches. And this tightest, um, shortest area, 90 centimeters or 35 inches. So this entrance right here, it's really hard to measure this one. About 120 centimeters, 47 inches right here. So this is where I measured, right there. And the ground clearance up until the entrance of the trunk. So from the ground to that, about 77 centimeters or 30 inches. Not sure why, but I just want to really give you a complete measurement of this Santa Fe. I think I got it all, right? I must have got it all. I cannot afford to have another measurement question now. <laughs> so I think that is it. Let's get back to the drive. This is it, right? Yes, this is it. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>